busy 18 months. <laughs> Last year, after the release of Spinning Around and On and Like This and the album, and they did so well, then the Olympics, then the start of this year, uh, I actually started recording uh, Fever in about January. And then March, April, May was off touring, which, uh, which was um, the most successful tour in Australia by a female artist. <laughs> and I knew about it at the end of the tour because I was so exhausted. Finished the tour, went straight back into recording, and here we are. I have the album, so it's been absolutely hectic, but wonderful at the same time. We recorded one of the nights in Sydney, um, which was fantastic, and that's going to come out on DVD and video, so it's my first DVD. I had a really good show, um, my first show at home in Melbourne. And my dad was in the audience and I managed to say hi to him and I could see him halfway back down the arena. I saw his big smile and I don't know, I was just really pleased to be home. And it's, it, it is really exciting to be able to stand on stage with, I think in a Melbourne there's Twelve and a half thousand people, so you know, enough people um, over seven nights or whatever in, in that town. And to be able to say and mean it, it's good to be home. <laughs> recording Fever was different to recording Light Years. I think it was easier, actually, even though it would trying to make more of a statement with this album, it was easier. Light Years was my first album with Parlophone, so it's a new family, a new collaboration, and I really had to remind people, and myself, what I did and, and try and do that well, and get my two, two feet firmly planted on the ground. And my, actually, my two dainty stilettos firmly perched on the ground, I should say, with that album. So this one we, we were able to try and, uh, well, take a, a step forward to be a bit more progressive. Can't Get You Out of My Head was written by Kathy Dennis, and I do mean THE Kathy Dennis, uh, and Rob Davis, who was known for writing the Spiller hit, and Fragmar. When I think back to the first time I heard that track, which was as a demo with Kathy Dennis singing on it. I absolutely fell in love with it the first time I heard it and was literally saying, when, when, when can I record the track? The video is directed by Dawn Shadforth, who did Spinning Around for me. So I think we can safely say that we're a good team now. <laughs> She's on two of my favorite videos. basically set in this surreal world, um, like a world that you recognise but you've just never seen it quite that way. For something that was quite hard to imagine on paper in a synopsis, it's just, you know, life has been breathed, breathed into it. I don't know when I can wear that dress again. Everyone says, how does it, you know, how does it stay like that? I say, ah, oh, it's all done with mirrors. It looks so good in the video. It's kind of a star in its own right, that outfit. Can't Get You Out of My Head doesn't illustrate what's on the whole album, but definitely the direction of, of a large part of the album. A great pop song with good contemporary production, and just something slightly different about it. There's sounds that you've heard before, but you just haven't heard them this way before. We wanted to, to incorporate more dance club elements to the album, but it was really important to keep the songs, to keep the pop songs. A 
as well as Rob Davis and Kathy Dennis, I worked with Richard Stannard, Julian Gallagher, um, Pascal Gabriel, Steve Anderson, Mark Picciotti. Actually, I worked with more producers than that, but not all of the tracks made it onto the album, which was a pretty incredible place for us to be situated that we, we actually have more than 12 songs that we feel are very strong. Fever, I like very much, yeah, it's uh, very clever lyrically and uh, I did another track with, with the, the, the guys that wrote and produced Fever, Greg Fitzgerald and Tom Nichols called Burning Up, which, which I love also. In Your Eyes has a lot of fans. It's in your eyes. I can't believe how many people come up to me and say, oh, In Your Eyes, I just love it. Which pleases me enormously because that's one that I co-wrote. <laughs> and that was also done before I went on tour. That was one of the, the original batch of songs. I can tell what you're thinking. My heart is sinking. It's nice to have positive feedback. But the feedback on that song has just been overwhelming. The last one I recorded is again by Rob Davis and Kathy Dennis called Come Into My World. I like it just because I love the song, but also the way it came around. It was the last few days of uh, being able to put things together for the album and we careering towards this is, you know, this is the final absolute deadline. And uh, one of my A&R guys called up Rob and Kathy and said, I know this is going to sound a bit strange, but could you just get in the studio and try and write a follow-up that can't get you out of my head? Which they did. They went in on the Saturday. Didn't really think they nailed it on Saturday. Went back in on Sunday, wrote Come Into My World, loved it. It was sent to the record company Monday. Within an hour of it arriving at, at the desk in, uh, in Parlophone, it came to me in another studio. And so we all, you know, there was this great excitement because it's literally, I can't stress how much it was the last minute. I had to do a photo shoot the next day, then go to Germany the next day. So I said, okay, I'll have to do it after my photo shoot tomorrow, which we did. looks good. This point in my life where I am now is possibly the best place that I've been. I am more accepting of myself. At the very same time I'm more challenging of myself. I have achieved some, I've achieved actually more than I thought I would with the tour, with this album, with uh, everything around the album, all of the images. It just Things really seem to be held together very firmly at the moment. And hey, maybe the planets are in line, I, I don't know. But, but I like being me right now. Yeah.